Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you a free title from our messaging toolkit pack for DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so you can download the title by clicking the link below, you will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it, it will give you access to this folder, and in the folder you have a couple of things. Uh, you have the license, instruction, you have the DRFX file to install, and you have the font. Make sure you install uh, the font by just selecting everything and double click on it to start the installation process, and then you can simply double click on the DRFX file to start the installation process for uh, the DRFX file. So let's just install, perfect, and now we can just go back to DaVinci and here if we search in effect title if we look for sample you will get access to the title right here along with other sample that you may have from us already so right now let's take a look at this title and what you can do with it so you can just drag it directly on the timeline and uh, here as you can see we just have a simple animation uh, right in there is not animation out by default you need to go right here in the inspector and add the animation out by toggling this box and now you have a title with an animation in and an animation out you can stretch the title as long as you want there is no issue with that and you can really customize everything that you want right here in the inspector so first off right here i would like to adjust the size and position so we're just gonna bring uh, the title a bit to the side right here we're gonna lower it down right there perfect and here uh, i'm fine with the size but you can adjust the size you can also add a profile picture right here uh, by going down to the image drop down the optimal size to use is a square format uh, whatever square format you use uh, so let's just add this perfect let's use this one here we go uh, but as you can see right now it's a bit off center so we're just gonna bring it uh, back into position properly raise the size a little bit all right perfect i'm happy with that uh just something to keep in mind sometimes uh the image if you don't upload this specific format might be uh, out of the mask so you will need to bring it back uh, within this mask i'm gonna show you quickly the scenario so basically here if i'm bringing uh, this image that i got a different uh size than the other one uh it's probably like around here because it's just like yeah different format so basically to bring it back in the mask what i usually do i just bring uh, the image size uh, higher so it will appear right here in the mask and then i will just uh, slowly reduce the overall uh, size and the position to bring it back uh, within the mask so it might take a bit of time depending on uh, the format of the image that you've choose uh, but basically slowly like that you'll be able to uh, bring it back properly within the mask and here we got a picture within the mask. Uh, so yeah, don't freak out if the picture doesn't appear, it's working, it's just that it might be outside of the mask somewhere and that you might need to bring it in. There is unfortunately no way that I found to uh, add a placeholder, so it automatically like pop up right here. But the closest way to do that is to upload the right image size. So if you upload something square, you're uh, more likely to have it uh, pumping up right there. All right, so now let's move on. Here you can also change the color of the cycle. So here, if you want to have it for example uh, black you can change that right there but you're probably just gonna leave it as it is uh, white because uh, you want to replicate you know like a facebook title or um, a whatsapp title by for example changing uh, the colors now we can go to name so here uh, we can change the name uh, so we're gonna do for example joey smith you can change obviously the phone, the position, the size, the tracking, and you can also completely remove it if you don't want to have it. So for example, right here, you can completely remove it or you can add, for example, time. So here we could add, for example, 12 p.m. Here instead, you have like flexibility on uh, if you want the text uh, at all or not at all. So right now we're just gonna completely remove it, for example, then we're gonna move here to message. So here the background and the text are fitting perfectly, but for example, uh, what if we want to have a way smaller message you can adapt that right here so here we're gonna say just aj but now obviously we got a lot of excess uh, with the background so we're gonna go down here to text background and we're gonna adjust the width and here uh, we are reducing basically the width so now obviously it's not merging with this little part right here so we're just gonna adjust the position to bring it back uh, in position properly so let's do that quickly and here we go perfect 
I think I'm happy with that. You can here obviously change the color of the background. So for example, if you want to have something uh, that looks more like WhatsApp, for example, you could change it here uh, to green. So you can also here adjust the strength of the shadow. You can uh, remove completely the shadow if you want, or you can uh, make it very, very strong. Uh, you can also adjust the drop angle of the shadow. So here, if we bring back the shadow, uh, we can adjust it so it's in one direction or another. You can adjust also the drop distance and you can adjust the blurriness of the shadow. So here you can make it very, very soft or you can make it very, very hard. It's up to you. You have all those possibilities uh, right in the text background drop down. So let's reset everything. To reset stuff, you can just double click on the name of the parameter and it will reset the parameter. Then another thing that we added and that I think sometimes can be very, very useful uh, is the 3D rotation. So basically it's changing the angle of the title to make it look a bit more 3D. So right here, I'm just gonna bring it uh, back on the side right here, perfect. And yeah, basically, as you can see, it's changing the perspective of the title. So obviously don't go too hard with it, but sometimes it can be very interesting to use uh, to create more depth in your image and make it look 3D. And now the last dropdown is background. So here you have the possibility to add a layer uh, between your footage and the title. So by using the opacity right here, we basically bring a solid background between the footage and the title, and it helps to make uh, the title pop a little more. You can do quite a lot of things with this background. Uh, you can adjust the size, the position, the soft edge, the border width. There is really a lot of thing that is possible with the background. So here, for example, uh, if you want it to affect only one part of the image and not, for example, the footage of the girl, we could have it uh, just right here, raise the opacity a little bit. And here uh, we will have basically a dedicated section uh, for a conversational uh, text, for example. That will be one way to use it. And here, for example, we could adjust the soft edge to have a smoother transition between uh, the background and the footage and something that is just less hard. But right now, we're just going to uh, remove completely the background. And here we go. And now let's just play the clip to see how it looks. Perfect. I'm quite happy with that. I think it looks quite nice. And that's pretty much it. You have all those controls directly in the edit page. But if you want to add more things or remove stuff, you can go over right here to the Fusion page where you have access to basically uh, everything. And you can really tailor uh, the title as you want. So here you can just double click on this group uh, and you will have access to all the nodes uh, and you can make your own modification or if you're curious, you can just uh, check it out how we've made it into Fusion and try to learn how to do it yourself uh, if that's something you're interested in. So that's pretty much it for this sample title. You can download it by clicking the link below again. So this sample is from our message toolkit pack, which is basically a pack containing a bunch of assets to help you create a conversation, a message conversation from Facebook, WhatsApp, and so on. Uh, you have a variety of uh, different assets that you can use with voice message, a picture message, or simple message with a conversation already pre-made or uh, individual titles. So if you're interested, you can check that out on our website. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.